It is Wednesday, my dudes. And I still don't have steel for the car. So, in the meantime, let's try to piss off the neighbors with some guitar. Warning. The Moonfrog does not actually know how to play guitar or any string instrument. He just plays really loud and hopes to piss off the neighbors. So while we don't have steel, we do have cardboard. So we're going to head over in the garage and we're going to cut out all our templates for the motor mounts and transmission mounts. And then in the next video, we'll go get some steel from the scrapyard and we'll cut them out and weld them up and mount the engine. But for now, let's go do some arts and crafts. <laughs>
would that look for a mount? Two sides like that, notch the other one to fit over the top, and then just plate it in, just a pipe stand going from there. I feel like it should be sturdy enough. And if there's any flex, I can always tie down from underneath here. So you can put frame. like, they put like a full cradle under, like one piece. I could, but so that's, they did, that's a lot of weight. What they did is they had it bolted on, yeah, and then when they slipped the motor in, it sat right there and they just bolted. That's, yeah. what, that's what they did for it. But I feel like if, if it's all welded in... Oh no, it'd be some sturdy. So it is currently 4.47 on Thursday. I'm supposed to be uploading this video, but I realized we don't have a proper ending on it. So let's go for a walk to the garage and let's finish off this video properly. finish this video off properly we made this box mount it's going to be our template for cutting out our pieces and it's going to go right in here somewhere and we're just going to put a pipe from there to the engine and that's going to be our mount and for the transmission mount um, I know I said I was going to make templates and everything for that too, but angle iron is going to work perfectly fine for this. So we're just going to cut this off, bolt this under here to the proper mounting place and just weld it to the chassis somehow. So if you want to see all that getting cut up and welded up, well, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and uh, till next time, go out, be rad.